you're welcome back. Okay, I have clippings that I have taken out of the newspaper from various days concerning this magnificent old house on Augusta Road, which they had thought they were going to tear down. Okay, it's called the Wilkins House. And now we have some good citizens who've come forward and said, well, maybe we can save it. And that's what we're here for today. We save our history because we tear down everything and it isn't here anymore for future generations. And it's a tragedy. And I'm so thrilled to have both of you here. And uh, I want to introduce Kelly Odom. Thank you. Who is here on behalf of the Preservation Commission. And he has the Pickwick Pharmacy on Augusta Road. And he's also written a book himself about the history of Augusta Road, okay, which is not related to anything we're talking about today, but it's nice to have. Thank, Thank you, you so much for coming. And next to him is Mike Biedenbaugh, and he is the executive director of the Palmetto Trust for Historic Preservation. Yes. Now, <laughs> got that all. What is going on? What are we doing to save what we have? Well, what we're doing is rallying around one of the last great mansions that Greenville has left that's, that's endangered. Uh, one of the last ones on Augusta Road. Kelly, you know all the history of it. Yeah, you look at this home, it was built in 1876. And what the, uh, that area of Augusta Road was once called Depot Green, which all of Greenville's prominent families built homes yeah. up and down those blocks between. It's all gone. Exactly right. This is the last one left, so we need to save it, and we have to save it. And they, they want to, first of all, they want to tear it down. And they're going to put up what there? Uh, well, the, the, um, this property has been for sale for several years. And we've always known it was going to be endangered because it never was protected with any ordinance or anything. And so our organization, the Palmetto Trust, we're the statewide preservation organization. Uh, we've been watching it for years. And it happened to come through that a contract went for sale on it and, and the contract was, was uh, undertaken. And what they're gonna do is put an elderly care facility there that can't accommodate the house. The wonderful news is though, the developer who wants to put that there does not wanna see the house destroyed. So he's giving the community the opportunity um, to allow it to be moved. So you do have a place to put it, if you could move it. Right, we ha there are several places that are under that are being looked at now and we'll know where it's all within the Augusta Road area uh, within four or five blocks of it potentially maybe a little further we're looking at they're looking at different things okay um, but it's really exciting you know I've been executive director of Palmetto Trust since 07 I actually used to be on the board of the Palmetto Trust and, and never have I had the the luxury of the development side and the preservation side sitting down and wanting to work out solutions. Um, many just tend to jump the note, we're doing this and nobody can get near it and it's gonna go and you have nothing to say about it. That's not the case here. Uh, the folks have been very eager and open to work with us all and it's well, only being good. pulled off mm -hmm. because of that. And in fact, the cost of moving this thing 1,000 tons. Yeah, I, I can't imagine it. It, 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 will be the, um, it will be the largest house move, structure move in South Carolina history. It's gonna cost around $720,000. So we already have someone willing to put in half of that mm -hmm. if the community puts in the other 360,000. Yeah. And that's what we're, we're putting the systems together now to make that happen. So you, people can do, donate a dollar, five dollars, a hundred dollars, whatever they want to donate. That's right. And this, ha it, it was not on the National Historic. The National Mis Register, yeah. Register. The National Register is a federal list yeah. put out by the National Park Service. And it doesn't mean it wasn't eligible. It's definitely eligible. But the National Register on privately owned homes is pretty voluntary. The people have to want it to be oh, on there. Okay. And so that just that has never occurred. And the people who inherited this house and this land and all that, they don't want it. They don't want it. They see it is in the way. That's fine. We're going yeah. to get it out of their way. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. You should sell tickets when they finally move the house so people can stand and see it being taken down the road because they have moved structures in the past. Mm -hmm. The Certainly. Cherrydale, which is right. now on the campus of Furman University, mm -hmm. a beautiful old home, but it isn't as large as this. I understand this house has a great staircase inside. It's very elegant. Beautiful staircase. Yeah, that. yeah, it's magnificent. If you mm -hmm. go to a website, palmettotrust.org, we're also on Facebook, Save the Wilkins okay. House, mm -hmm. okay. and there are some magnificent pictures. The interior of this house is just magnificent. Well, we'll put up there, if you want more information, the website uh, is uh, www.palmettotrust.org. Yes, ma'am. And you can find, you can see pictures of the house, you can find out what, what's going on. And it, it is important that we keep our heritage. A sense of place, creates community. C communities are strong that know, that are made up of citizens that know who they are, where they are, and, and you know, it is, Greenville is an amazing city, and unlike many in, in South Carolina, I was here last Saturday, and just to be on Main Street and see the vibrancy uh -huh. that's mm -hmm. there, but that vibrancy didn't come without planning. And, and opening up the Reedy River and, and, and getting Main Street back with trees and some of the old buildings. Tearing all that, down that bridge and making yeah, this beautiful. Making the beautiful yeah. place. But the thing is, what, el what, what also contributes to that is the places that have been here and gives that sense of, of, of um, just gives that sense of place that people, it speaks to the soul. And, and that's what attracts people to it. And this, you cannot walk in this house without hearing it speak to you and just feeling just the, the generations of hands that's washed through it. And so that's what we want to try to say for Greenville. Yeah. Kelly, what, what, what year was that house built? 1876. 1876, okay. And it's withstood 130 years and it's in such remarkable condition. I mean, it's amazing. All right, now if they succeed mm -hmm. in raising enough money and moving this house to this lot, whatever, wherever it is, mm -hmm. in that general area mm -hmm. of Greenville, what, what can it be used for? Well, part of the deal is, and the reason the Palmetto Trust is involved is because we have an easement program to protect historic properties. So what's going to happen is the house, when the money is raised, will be donated to the Palmetto Trust, and then Palmetto Trust will transfer it to a private owner who will be under easement to have it available for open at a minimum of two times a year and even more than that. But also we'll have to restore it, restore the outside as it was, and it can never be demolished. It will always have to be maintained, and that is in perpetuity. So whoever buys it later can never tear it down again. So it will be protected for Greenvillians in the future. But I mean, would it have a use? Oh, like, it, well, you know, that, that's like the, the thing. Women's that, club or something. Mm -hmm. What would they use well, it, it for? Well, it would be used either as a home or it'd be used as a business. Something because it it will take a lot of money to maintain this place. This is five thousand. This know. is five thousand square feet of a hundred and fifty year old plaster and oh. magnificent floors and all of these things. So it took an economy to build it. The yes, Wilkins yes. Were, were leaders in the community, and it's going to take that to keep it. That there's not enough bake sales in the world that would keep that place afloat. Mm -hmm. So that's why the, the partnership between private owners and public oversight through the nonprofit Palmetto Trust will help protect it for people here to enjoy. Okay, but it could eventually be be a, a productive. Absolutely, uh, not just not so, just a piece no, of plaster no. sitting there. Uh, no, no, it, it, we don't see this as a museum exhibit. This is something that will be alive and contributing to the community. And whatever use, whatever use anybody has, they will be under guidelines what they can't take out or destroy. The mantles, the woodwork, all of that has to remain intact. They can put office in there. They can have it as an event space. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it'll make a wonderful event space. Um, it'll make a wonderful office. It, it, it has a lot of great uses. And the flexibility in that is important to attract the type of folks in the future who would want to buy it and mm -hmm. use it. And that's what's And you important. obviously, Kelly, are a historian in your own right, having written your book about Augusta Road. Yeah, oh, yes, definitely. And, and that's why, you know, you were mentioning about having ties to it. And one thing that we've seen through our process of this is how many people, you know, across the state or across the country have, have reached out and said, you know, I remember driving to Greenville High and passing this house. I can't imagine, you know, when I come back home and going that way and this house being missing. 
Yeah, what, what's going to be there isn't going to be that attractive. You can bet on that. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure the new owner is going to have great plans and make yes. something look very nice. And, we hope and, so. And uh -huh. we're, we're excited that he's helping us mm -hmm. get it out of his way. Now, what does... What actually do do you people do in this Palmetto Trust? I mean, what, what the Palmetto Trust is an organization that was founded in 1990, and basically to try to create an organization to do for the rest of the state what Charleston had been doing uh, since the 1920s. They've been doing this for years. That's right, and and uh, I was actually in private sector, and I was on the board of the Palmetto Trust in the in the mid 90s. So this is an organization that I've always seen as being very important. I'm originally from uh, Newberry County. And I love this state, and it just hurts to see how much is being lost. And to think that my kids growing up won't have the same experience driving through the countryside that I had. Um, these things are assets. We, we see these historic places as assets to economic development and to attracting people. And so the Palmetto Trust was formed to create a way to protect these assets while not having to take them over and turn them into museums let people live in them, but they'll be protected. So we have well over 20 easements all over the state. In fact, we have an easement on Main Street, the Stradley Bar uh, building, which is mm -hmm. downtown. We have an easement there, that building is protected. Uh, we have them all over the state. So it's a way um, to create, to, to keep the aesthetic of history that we all love. One of the biggest reasons we have tourism is this state. Yeah. People come to experience the history. Well, that history is not just sites, it's also just the landscape around us, to go down the road and to see farmhouses and landscape and historic homes scattered throughout your drive is really important. So that's why the Palmetto Trust was formed, was to try to protect all of these. And it was formed mm -hmm. when? In 1990. So we're a little late getting started. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, we've been going a lot. And, Better and late than never. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. I've been director since 2007, and like I say, in 2007, one of our board members, wonderful Wu and Bill Thomason, yes, who, who were... Yes, I, I knew them. Yes, yeah. and they were wonderful dear friends, and it was a great loss. Uh, but they were on our board, and Wu was telling me seven years ago, the Wilkins house, Mike, we have to watch what happens, yeah. and that's what we're doing now. Well, so some people are watching, as you can see. I've got all these clippings. If you want more information about what we talked about, about saving some of our heritage, then all you have to do is just www.palmettotrust.org. And it's all there. And together we can make some good things happen for the upstate. Thank you so much Thank you, for Patty. coming. Thank you. Patty. And wherever you are, stay happy. We'll see you next time.